So, we're Still. starting off. It's glamorous day for a yeah. picnic in Tazda, but we are having a very exciting today. I'm very excited. We've got Already. the wicker basket in the car. Yeah, we've got a little picnic basket. We're going to get some stuff by the Yeah, and we're going to the Yorkshire food capital. We're not getting it from here. This is to get somewhere else. We're going to go. Somebody got us. All right, pal. So we're going to go fish. to Moulton. Oh, I'm going to go get some fast food fish and we're going to go to Moulton and we're going to what we're doing. Going to the alpaca farm, Butterwick alpaca farm, walk the alpacas. alpacas. Walk the alpacas. Walk the alpacas and then have a nice little romantic picnic. And yeah. for his wedding present, well, one of them, I got Danny a little Mr. and Mrs. Yorkshire picnic camper because you've always wanted one. Picnic, yeah. So we're from Tazda because I'm, I'm going to look for a picnic blanket. Yay, and look. This one took me I bought that one. I know, but I'm getting excited about garden stuff. I know. What are we getting done? Dead. <laughs> so we're coming to Tazda to get just a few little bits. And then we stumbled upon some like. Oh! <gasps> my Bambi! This is going to be bad. Oh, I want to cry. And we're away to alpacas. I'm oh, just about so the plan is now 20 past 10, right? We were supposed to be nipping to Asda, getting a few little bits, going to pick my tablets up at nine, and then get possibly getting down to Marks and Spencer's for about quarter past, ready to go. It's 20 past 10, we've not been reminisced yet, we've still got that job to do. We've got a dear Charlie Dash there. Yeah, so we've been a uh, sense of occasion, we spoke to Nadine, then I'm like, right, Nadine, sorry, we've got to go see some alpacas. And then it turns out that then my mate Joe's there from Itel Kitchens. So then we're talking to her and you, you start planning your bleeding gym. gym. So we're, we're now we're gonna have to make an appointment with Itel when we get back off us honeymoon to do some units in your gym. I know. But I'm so excited we've not even got out of York well, and we're not getting out of Yorkshire. We haven't even got out like Wakefield Marley area yet. Yeah. We're already planning baby gym. Everything yeah. balloons. We went into Asda just to basically just to get one thing. We, we I think we spent nearly two hundred and eighty quid. We got some gifts for Father's Day. We got loads of clothes for baby Athena here, for a little one. And that's the first time we've really like bought some clothes as well. Yeah. Uh, we were special and yeah, it's Asda. I was, what I was really crying. Bambi stuff on it. I know. I love it. I mean, you can go to these. You can go to like these designer shops and spend a fortune. You can go to Tazza and get quality Disney stuff and all that. Look at this. So I'm even losing my voice now. I've talked that much today. Mate. Anyway. So are we going to that new M&S? Yeah. The posh one. The posh one. At the White, posh Rose. White Rose. White Rose Shop and Centre. Woo! Do we White get ten percent off for that? Yeah. Oh. Do I love White Rose? No, I they, do they like White Rose. I've done my Christmas songs, haven't I? For the last couple of years, and I've got. Do you know what? It's been like. Six, seven months, I've not even been in. I've not seen that much of them because I've been that busy and flat out. So we'll have to go in and see my man Steve in there. Yeah, not that. today though, because we'll miss the alpacas. Be yeah, they'll be asleep by the time I get there. We'll be like, go on, alpaca, be like, ah, oh, I'm out of walk, mate. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I think I'll be more tired than alpaca, to be honest with you. Right, let's whiz around here. We'll see you soon, guys. We're at the new MS. So, with picnic shopping, what's in your picnic basket? So we've got some fruit for us, Bob. So now we need to get you, I think, a nice little salad bowl. What's your ideal dream picnic? Can I say it on here? Covering you in chocolate and just eating away. Eat me that. So we just stopped off at the Highwayman Cafe and it's always busy here. Um, but I was just wondering if you've ever been. I've never actually been for grub, just for a wee, as I have done now. Um, but we're just hopping back in. Lots of traffic as there's been a crash on the A1M. Um, but we did go past Danny's favourite house. He always has on the motorway like different things up in the window, whether it be queens or kings. Yeehaw, we're off and we're nearly at the alpaca farm. What was that? Yeehaw. Well, I don't know how you like walk alpacas like a cowgirl. Yeehaw. That's it, yee hi, but you went yee how. Oh, yee how. Maybe that's. Yee ha! Yee ha! Get into it. Or knee how ma. That's how I ma. I think I did a mixture of knee how and yee ha. Right. So look, so we're at Butterwick. Butterwick. We are here. But what's it called where we're going? Butterwick Alpaca Retreat. Right, so it says go this way. We should be hopefully down here. 
And well, honestly, nice place, it's it? gorgeous. We've gone through Molten, right posh, isn't it? And now we're just going to find the retreat. And they are so lovely, I've got to say. I've been talking to alpaca people for quite a while because we're going to have them at his wedding, but the dates didn't mix up. And oh, instead they the said, why don't you come for holiday. a picnic? Yeah, and the alpacas were chilling. The alpacas were chilling out, wasn't it? So it's saying it's down here. So this is really good as well for adults with learning disabilities like or children. Time. I reckon we're going to get lost here, love. Yeah. There's a public footpath. Yes, she said she'd left the gate open. Was oh, this it then? Yeah. Thanks for telling me. I forgot. Yeah. Thanks for telling me, love. You know, oh yeah, she said she left the gate open. <laughs> you're driving. You don't need to know these things. No. Well, you, you know. Oh, and what a stunning ass day. Yeah, it looks good out here. It's just full of manure. Yeah, yeah well. let's have a picnic at side of us. <laughs> No, apparently there's a little hideout. A little hideout? Yeah. Oh, it's not one of those little cabins in bleeding fields where no bird watchers go. No. We're in Twit Twoo. Twit Twoo? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we're seasoned bird watchers. Anyway, let's go see the alpacas. So I saw an open gate, and because she said she'd open the gate, <laughs> Done to go through it, but now we're in a farmer's field. We're not at both Butterwick Alpaca Retreat. No, we're not. And then a couple of little baby pheasants run across the front of the car. Oh, look, ducks. <laughs> you can take the girl out of the council. She day. says they look like ducks. They don't look like ducks. They were, they were little waddling along on their little webs. What waddling along? They were legging it, love. Pheasants are fast. <laughs> to join the alpacas and some of them are up duff like me they are aren't they up duff but it's just so i've got lovely sandstorm here who is apparently you're a ladies man aren't you sandstorm and danny's got don't mess with my hair <laughs> sunny but yeah. it's so therapeutic isn't it just watching them and walking <sighs> see do you know what I, I don't walk much like sophie's trying to get me into walking yeah. Like we have with ten dogs out. Look like this just feels really good. Yeah. Better than your Asda walk. Yeah, That's what he always says, I'll get to Asda for a walk. Yeah. How did you find that, Dan? Amazing. Amazing. Just tranquil. Walking about and it's basically taking him for a walk, but he took me for a walk. Stopping, having a bit of something to eat. It'll just play it. Nice. Now it's time for our picnic. Yeah. Picnic time on the alpaca farm. Picnic time, my love. I'm going to get it all out of our little picnic box here. So this is our alcohol-free. Jord up duff. I'm driving. Alcohol-free vegan prosecco that somebody kindly got us. And we have got a nice little spread from Max and Spencer's from Fizz. Thank you very much. Thank you. No zeko. Ladies oh, first. Lovely. That's the help you see it. I'm on. Cheers to many many happy years to you. Cheers. Love you. Love you. So Dan, what have I just caught you doing? Practicing. Now then guys, how are you doing? We're back in Moulton, full capital at world, apparently. Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Right, I, I ain't come across one full place yet. There's lots of pansies, pretty flowers. Yeah, unless you're vegan, I eat them. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're the edible flowers for yeah. the salads. So apparently they're doing awesome the food, molten. Yeah, the, the they no. do a good food festival. All right. Well, oh, look, welcome to the shambles. We'll see how it compares <coughs> to your shambles. So while Moulton is the food capital of Yorkshire, 
We did arrive a little bit too late as it was after 3pm and most places were closed. So I'll have to return with Dan to convince him that Moulton is the so-called food capital of Yorkshire. But most of all, it was worth the trek for the Butterwick Alpaca Retreat. It was such a great way to relax.